Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to play the intro to Bochi the Rock on guitar. It's the main opening theme from the introduction. Uh, so I'm gonna teach you the whole thing. I've done a full playthrough, so if you wanna hear what it sounds like, just the guitar part on its own, played all the way through, then check it out. I'll leave a link to that in the description and a card above. So I'm gonna teach you the whole song. Just before I do, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notifications, and I'd love to hear from you, so let me know what you think of the series, let me know what you think of this video, and more importantly, let me know what songs I should do next. And if you love what I'm doing, you wanna support me, support the channel, and you wanna print the tabs off for this, then I'll put them on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. My guitar is in standard tuning. Now there's quite a lot to get through. The first line sounds like this. So to play that D12, pulls off to D10. So, got... so I'm using my third finger on D12, pulling off to my first finger on D10. Then back to D12, and then B10. So you've got... Back to a D12, and a D10. So bar one goes... Into bar two, we've got a D12. And then G9, and you're gonna hammer on to G10 and pull off back to the G9. So a little hammer on and pull off. Then D12, D10, and A12. So, so that bar two goes. So bars one and two together, you got Bar number three is the same as bar one. Bar four, we've just got one D12, and then just the hammer on and pull off from G9 to G10 back to the G9. So let's just play bars three and four, there you go. So the whole line. Next line, and the first three bars are exactly the same. And then bar number eight, we get, which is E and B strings, first finger flat across them on the 13th fret. So it starts with a rest, and then you've got the E13 and B13 at the same time. Then B15. G14, and then G12, and then a quick hammer on to 14 and pull off to 12. And the bar finishes with a D15. So slowly that bar goes rest. A bit faster. Up speed. So it's quite fast. So bars five, six, seven, and eight go. Okay, it then repeats all the way back to the beginning and plays all the way through up to and including bar seven. But on the repeat, instead of playing bar eight, you play, play bar nine, which just goes, which is just playing D12, D10, and then A12. So let's just play this line, um, but doing like the second time around. So you do repeat all the way back to the beginning, but let's just play this line. Um, we'll play bars five, six, seven. We're not gonna play bar eight. We're gonna play the last bar, bar nine. So it goes like this. On to the next line. This is a cool little lead line, it goes like this. I like this line. Starts off with E13, I'm using my third finger. And then E10 with my first finger. And hammer on to the 13 and pull off back to the 10 cents. And then B13, E10. So we've got all really slowly. Up speed. So it's quite fast that little lick. And then B13, B10. 
G13, slide down to G12. So you got from the beginning of that. And then G10, G12, slide up to G14, G12, and G10. So if we go from the 13 on the G string that slides into um, down to the 12, uh, at the end of bar 10 going into 11, you've got... So from the beginning of the line, you've got... A bit faster. Up speed. I like that little line. And then we've got this... Which is G5, slide up to G6. And then B6, sliding up to B11. Then E9, E8, B11, and then B10. So slowly that little riff goes. Bit faster. Up speed. So the whole of that line you get. On to the next line and we've got. Which is octaves playing A5 and G7. So I'm using my first finger on the A5 and my little finger on the G7. And we've got two hits on that. And then down to fret four on the A string and six on the D string. And then we can slide up to seven on the A string and nine on the uh, G string. So you've got. And then two percussive notes. So you've got. If you want to, you can just play the seven. Whichever way you prefer to play it. Uh, and then the next bar starts the same two. Uh, hits on the A5 with the G7. Then down to fret 4 and 6. A4 and G6. And it slides back to 5 and then you can hit it. And then two percussive notes on the end. So bar 15 goes. Okay, so bars 14 and 15 slowly. You've got... Into the next bar, it's the same as the first bar, so you go. And then in bar 17, we've got another percussive hit, or you could miss it out if you want. And then play. Which is E13, E10, G13, then G12, pulling off to G10, and then you do the G12 to the G10 again. So good. So the whole line you got. On to the next line, and the first two bars are exactly the same. And then we've got. Which is from bar 20, a G minor seven chord. Second finger E3, and third finger across D, G, and the B strings all at the third fret. So hit one hit on that, and then you just move up two frets to an A minor seven chord, which is E5 with D5, G5, and B5. Same shape. And then we've got, which is. Uh, you can get. You don't have to play this six on the E string, but I, I like to put it in. So E six with D five and G six, but you could just play the G uh, and D string. So D five and G six if you want. Three hits on that, and then we get to this, which is D five with G six and B six. Uh, Going to go da 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 da. So bar twenty one goes. Or slowly. Really nice and dissonant. And then we get. Which is D9 with G10 and B11. 
and just four hits on that. Keep each one of those nice and short. So that line you've got. On to the next line, and uh, we've just got some chords. Um, you can put some rhythm to it as well. Uh, so the first line goes like this. So first chord, B flat. First finger barred across all the strings on the sixth fret. Second finger on G7. Third finger, A8. And little finger just underneath it on D8. So it's a B flat chord. Uh, rhythm just down, down, up, up, down, up. The next chord, A chord, just move it all down one fret. So you've got. And then it goes down to D minor, first finger A5, second finger on B6, third finger on D7, little finger on G7. So D minor. We've got two bars of that. Then G minor, first finger barred across all the strings on the third fret. Third finger A5, little finger underneath it on D5. But one bar of that. And then we get this D flat diminished chord. Which is first finger A4, second finger D5, third finger on B5, and little finger on G6. So it's D flat diminished. Then it goes back to D minor. And then E flat, which is first finger A6. Third finger across the D, G, and the B strings at the eighth fret. So the whole of that line goes one, two, three, four. On to the next line, and it starts the same. So we've got B flat, A, D minor for two bars. G minor, but then goes to an A chord, back to a B flat chord, and then a, a C chord. So same shape for the C chord in bar, uh, what are we on now, 38. Uh, first finger barred across all the strings at the 8th fret. Second finger on G9, third finger A10, little finger on D10. Uh, and the rhythm that I've written in there just goes da, 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 da. Okay, so let's just play that line, here we go. On to the next line, more chords. We've got B flat for two um, bars this time. Then A minor seven. We have used this earlier on. So third finger across the D, G, and the B strings at the fifth fret. Second finger E five. Same rhythm. Then it goes to D minor. Then G minor. D flat diminished. D minor and then E flat. So it's almost the same as two lines previous, um, but slightly different. So let's just try that line. One, two, three, four. And then on to the next line. Again, it starts almost the same. So B flat for two bars, A minor seven, D minor, G minor, and then it goes to an A chord, B flat, and then C. Uh, I've put that same rhythm in that we had before, two lines previous. So that line. And that takes us to the last line and it goes like this. So for that, E10 and B13, but you're going to bend the B13, and then an A10, pulling it 
down an octave, uh, sorry, an octave, a, a tone, and then play A8, and then A10, so you go. And then ignore the note in the bracket, that's just held on, and then we play A8 on the A string, A10, and slide up to A12. And then E8. So, so far you've got Then this next little phrase is kind of a bit scrappy, it goes So you're playing A8, then A8 to, and then A10 So Then A10 to 11 Then 11 to 12 And then D10 and D12, so slowly you've got Bit faster Up speed and then just make some noise like playing um, either the G string or the B string. Going, tremolo picking, just move your finger along. Over. I can't remember if I did it on the uh, B string or the G string, but either would work. Or just tremolo picking, just slide your finger across the strings. And then the last little bit, which is G7, pull off to G5, back to G7. Then E5, G7, G5, then B6, B5, two G5s. So those two bars. Then we get, which is A5 and D7, two hits on that. A7 and G9, two hits on that. Then E8 and D7. D10, two hits on that. And that's the whole song. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed that little guitar lesson. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notifications, share the video, um, and I love to hear from you. I do read every comment, so please leave me some comments in the comment section. Let me know you're reading this. Let me know where in the world you're from, what you think of the series, um, and more importantly, what songs I should do next. And if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel, and you want to print the tabs off with this, then I'll put them on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Well, thanks for watching this. I do appreciate it. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time.